Hello, Mr. Barton here, and in this video I seek to answer the question, how do I find a good question on diagnostic questions? Well, dead, dead easy, and I'm gonna show you two ways of doing it. So first, make sure you're logged in and you wanna navigate yourself to the question page. So if you take a little trip to the left here, click on questions and you'll be good to go here. So once this loads up, you get uh, by default all the newest questions that have, uh, have been uploaded to diagnostic questions, but that's probably no good to you because you, you're probably looking for a specific question for a specific topic. So let's uh, say, for example, I want to find one on expanding single brackets because I'm about to teach that to my year eight class. So two ways of searching for uh, expanding linear brackets. The first is to use a taxonomy. So to do that, we say, right, okay, that's a maths question. So we click on maths and that then brings it down to the next level. So expanding brackets is within algebra. So we give algebra a click and then we get here. Oh, look at that. Some nice uh, Welsh questions there. Then we get expanding brackets. Give that a click. And then we get our three choices. So at the time of recording, there are 188 expanding single brackets questions. Give that a click and we're good to go. Now, as I say, by default, this will list the newest questions, which might, might be absolutely fine for you, but you might want uh, to sort them a different way. So if we click this little drop down here, you'll get uh, different ways of sorting it. And um, most likes is quite a good one. Most likes is often a good indication that a question has, has gone down particularly well with, with teachers or students. Um, I also like, as a sign of quality, most answered. This is, this is a sign of the most popular questions that have been on there, that have been included in quizzes and answered thousands and even tens of thousands of times. So that's a good way of kind of finding quality. But one of my favorites is this as well, most misconceptions. Now that is a way of finding the questions that are causing students difficulty. So that's a really, 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 Really nice way of searching uh, for, for questions on a given topic and then you can add those to a quiz and all that kind of stuff but we'll look at that in another video or you can simply just project that up in the classroom and um, not a problem with that a single question get kids voting as we've looked about with their fingers in the pedagogy videos and so on and um, let me show you another way of searching now to do this we're gonna have to go back to the the start of the question uh, menu so that's fine I just get a couple of clicks and we'll be there here we go. Sorry, my internet's running a bit slower over in the north. And then once you're there with, with, within maths or wherever, uh, you can actually just um, search here. So firstly, you can search by author. So for example, you might know you only want OCR or Ed Excel questions or so on. That's absolutely fine. It'll narrow those down. Or you can simply type in your topic here. So if I go for brackets, I was looking for, wasn't I? And it'll give me all those different ones, expanding single brackets, expanding double brackets and so on. But I'm going to treat you to this one. What about this brand new spec GCSE? If I type in functions, and then let's have a look here and a little scroll down. What about some of these uh, inverse functions? Brand new for GCSE. This will fire these straight up to you. And you can use these straight away in your classroom. Some lovely ones by AQA there. There'll be some by Excel, OCR, and all that kind of stuff as well. So um, that's one way of searching uh, for questions. Another way that I'm a big fan of is to look at the collections page. Now the collections page is my way of assembling all my favorite quizzes and collections together. So you'll see here that we've got all the GCSE ones for the brand new GCSE. And then we've got all different ones, GCSE essential skills, all that kind of stuff. Now that might be a nice way of searching because you might know, for example, that you, you are following the Edexcel scheme of work. And then so you'll click here and you might think, okay, I'm gonna go for higher. And I actually want a question on circle theorems. Well, this is gonna give you a quiz on circle theorems from which you can then find your favorite question on there. If you click this little uh, button here, it gives you a little preview. Clicking through here might just find you that perfect question that you want. Okay, so there are a few ways that you can find good questions in diagnostic questions. Hope that was useful. Bye for now.